a very good morning to everyone today we have a demo on the lungs it is a main organ of respiration which is situated within the thoracic cavity so there are two lungs so on the right side you can see this is the right lungs on the left side this is known as the left lungs which is situated within the thoracic cavity now let's know the features of both the lungs so above this is known as the apex of the right lungs and this apex of the right lungs is related with the suprapleural membrane also known as Simpson's fascia so this apex should be facing upwards same how this is known as the apex of the left lung and below this area is known as the base of both the lungs and both the base of the both the lungs is related with the diaphragm that's why this surface is also known as diaphragmatic surface which is related with the diaphragm let's know the remaining external features of both the lungs so we'll start with the right lungs now can you see this is known as root of the lungs and the surface which is facing towards the root of the lung so this is known as medial surface of the right lungs and from below this is known as the diaphragmatic surface of the right lung now let's turn the right lung and from outer aspect the surface you can see this is known as coastal surface and this coastal surface is related with the thoracic ribs now I repeat this is medial surface and this is known as the diaphragmatic surface same how this is known as the medial surface as well as the diaphragmatic surface of the left lung now if we we'll turn the left lungs from outside this surface is known as the coastal surface of the left lung which is related with the thoracic cavity let's know the borders of both the lungs now we will start with the anterior border so from apex till below this short border is known as anterior border i repeat this is known as anterior border of the right lung same how on the back side there is a posterior border of the left lung same how can you see this the curve shape border is known as inferior border of the right lung so these are the three borders which is present on the right lungs same how you can see this is the anterior border with the cardiac notch and the lingula and below this is known as inferior border and on the back side again we have the posterior border of the left lung so these all are the borders of the right lungs and the left lungs now we have to know the basic thing that the medial surface of both the lungs so this is the medial surface is divided in two part now on the back side this is known as the vertebral part and on the anterior to the vertebral part this part is known as the mediastinal part same how this is the mediastinal part on the back side again the vertebral part now we have to know about how to say this is the right lungs or the left lung so we have to know with the help of the external features that is surface as well as the border apex and base same how there is a fissures so you can see here if this is a right lung so there are two fissures so this fissure is known as oblique fissure well this fissure is known as the horizontal fissure so with the help of this oblique and the horizontal fissures the right lungs is divided into three lobes upper lobe we have the middle lobe and this is known as the lower lobe or also known as inferior lobe of the right lungs same how in the left lung there are only one fissures and that fissures is known as the oblique fissures so you can see this is known as the oblique fissure and with the help of oblique fissure the left lung is divided into upper and the lower lobes so we already know about the side determination of both the lungs with the help of the fissures we know about the surface and border let's know about the impressions group as well as the root or, or the content of the hilum of both the the lungs so this is the root of the right lungs and this is another root of the left lung so let's know the impressions step by step so we'll start with the right lungs so can you see this one this groove is for the superior vena cava just behind the superior vena cava there is a groove that groove is known as the groove for the right subclavian artery so this is groove for the right subclavian artery this is for the cardiac impressions just above there this is known as the horizontal fissures and below this fissure is known as the oblique fissures now can you see here above the root of the right lungs this groove is for the ejagus vein and just behind the root of the lungs here we have the impression for the esophagus and this root of the lungs is covered everywhere that is with the help of ligament pulmonary ligament and we have to know about the content of the root of the lungs keep in mind this is known as the bronchus so in the right lung there are two bronchus epitelial and hypatelial bronchus and just enter to the bronchus there is opening so this opening is known as the right pulmonary artery 
so this is right pulmonary artery just below the right pulmonary artery this is known as the the pulmonary vein so right superior and inferior pulmonary vein and there is only one the bronchial artery in the hilum of the right lungs so this is about the content of the right lungs so now let's know the impressions as well as the content of the root of the left lung so this is anterior border which consists of the cardiac notch so this is known as the cardiac notch and just below the cardiac notch there is a tongue shaped projection and this tongue shaped projection is known as lingula of the left lung same how we have to know the impressions here of the groove with my thumb finger i am showing you this groove is for the left subclavian artery and just below the huge groove is for the arch of aorta or the aorta now with the thumb finger i am showing this groove is for the left brachiocephalic vein you can correlate with the the diagram now we have to know about the content this is for the cardiac impressions let's know the content of the root of the left lung so i am going to show you the the structure so this is structure which i am showing with the forceps is known as the main principal bronchus and above this is known as the pulmonary artery that is known as left pulmonary artery and below this is known as the left superior pulmonary vein and this is known as left inferior pulmonary vein so how to differentiate between the right lungs and the left lung that is the root of the right lungs and the left lung in the right lung there is a hypotidial and hypotidial bronchus but in the left side only one principal bronchus while in the right side one bronchial artery will be there while in the left side there are two bronchial artery so these are the the main difference between the root of the right lungs and the root of the left lungs thank you